Hello everyone, I'm Keen 47 aka Wolf Keen. And I just saw this new video by Canned Cream, which I will put a link right here with an annotation, and I'll also put the link down in the description down below. He basically talked about Flash Sentry from Equestria Girls. Now, I do... Basically, what he wanted to do his video on was the problems with Flash Sentry and how they could be fixed. But there is one problem that he did bring up. The reason why Flash got so much hatred... The first that he brought up was the idea of Flash stealing everybody's waifus with, uh, you know, being a love interest to Twilight. Really, guys? Are you that dead set to a character that as soon as they put someone that's going to be in a relationship with them, you flip your sh**? No! 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 Twilight got a love interest! That really made Donald say no! Like, really? Really? Is that necessary? I'm just saying. Trust me, there are plenty of other reasons why to hate him, but that's stupid. I mean, really think about that. Another problem that he brought up in the video was the idea of him being a Gary Stu. Yeah, the problem with him is that he has no flaws besides bumping into Twilight and other crap like that, and there really isn't much else behind him besides being a Gary Stu. Really, nothing. And he was a contrived plot device in the in the movie. Yeah, he was a contrived plot device in the movie. I mean, he only served one purpose, and that was bringing Luna the pictures to prove Twilight's innocence. If you want to know my take on the movie Equestria Girls, at least in a response-style video, I'll also put my Voice of Reason response video down in the description below. So I want to get through those subjects real quickly because, you know, the problems that Flash Century had. Because those are pretty much the more, the more or less the most prominent of them all. So, I want to talk about ways that you can improve Flash Sentry. So, what is one way that they can improve Flash Sentry? Well, if you want Flash to be in a romantic relationship with Twilight... <laughs> shut up, all of you! Then, how about you improve the dialogue between the two? Don't just make it some weird, awkward, like, relationship. You don't have to make the... Okay, maybe you could make it awkward during the beginning because they don't know how to interact with each other, especially Twilight. But later parts, they just keep having that awkward phase where they're just blushing and looking away from each other. Honestly, if they're already, like, more or less a couple at this point, then why aren't they just talking to each other normally? I'm not asking for, like, the baby talk or anything like that from Hearts and Hooves Day. He's my schmoopy doopy s that! I'm just saying that you should try to improve the dialogue in some cases. This way it would make it out that they actually do like each other and there actually is some chemistry between the two. Second thing, improve changes up change up his personality. I don't care that he's a rocker. That's fine. I don't mind that. But my problem is that he has no flaws behind him. I know there aren't really a lot of flaws that you can give to a character like this, but why not make him insecure or something like that? Or maybe a little nervous. Not like nerd levels of nervous, but, you know, like, he wants to, you know, impress Twilight in some cases, but maybe he's maybe he tries a little too hard in some instances. That would make him out to have at least some flaws or something of the like. Or, I don't know, like, there really isn't a lot of instances that you could come up with this. This is what I'm trying to say, like, coming up with a, like, a personality that will work for Flash is a little difficult because there's nothing to this character. There's, that's the problem with Flash Sentry. There isn't enough development with this character to warrant, you know, like, theories and ways to improve him. See, this is what I'm, this is what I mean, like, there isn't enough information, unfortunately. And that plays into the Gary Stu idea. Third thing, if you want him to be, like, a central plot device in the movie... Well, with the pictures, how about you make it that, um, like I said in my response video, how about you make it that the pictures are given to Luna on day two and Flash Sentry spends the entire day? Maybe tells Twilight, like, don't worry, Twilight, I'll try to find out who did this to you. I promise. Like, you know, something like that. Like, that would be a dialogue showing, like, he's going to support her. He's going to help her. He's going to make sure that she doesn't get in trouble. So maybe he does some research throughout the day or something like that. Or maybe Twilight goes with him. That would improve their relationship in some cases. This is what I'm trying to say. There are ways to improve their relationship and have them interact besides in those weird, awkward phases. 
And then, you know, Flash Sentry gets the information on day three and proves Twilight's innocence on day three. Wouldn't that make more sense to improve? That would make it out that Flash actually loves her, that he's willing to support her, and that he's willing to do whatever it takes. This would give him more. This would give him more of the personality, which is what he's lacking in the movie. And that's really about it. There really isn't a lot of ways that you can improve on him. I mean, like I said, he's a Gary Stu. The only way you can improve on him is to give him some flaws, improve his personality, and improve his relationship with Twilight. If you start screaming, I will hurt you guys. Not much else for me to say on this subject. I pretty much just wanted to give out my points of view on this subject since this is a response to Can Cream as well as a thoughts video. So, um, go ahead and leave your comments down below on ways that you think Flash Sentry can be improved. And don't say remove him from the movie. My philosophy is that you don't have to remove something to improve it. You can always improve something. Removing it is not an answer. It's an excuse. So removing Flash Sentry not only proves that the writers know that they've done goofed, but it also proves that they had no way of fixing him. You don't want that. That's the same as old YouTubers deleting old videos, but I'm digressing, so... Just saying, guys. Leave a comment down below on ways he can be improved. And don't say remove him, because I ain't gonna take those kind of comments to consideration. So, guys, until next time, I'm Keenan 47 aka Wolf Keen. Hope you enjoyed this thoughts video, and until next time, guys, take care. Hello everyone, I'm Keenan 47 aka Wolfkin, and welcome to- <sighs> This is two times I've made this mistake of me trying to say, this is a response video, when in reality, when in reality I'm doing the intro for Wolfkin Talks.